Hey guys, welcome to Ask Adam. Danny Robertson off of Instagram asked me what were the points of emphasis when I was training Drew Hanlon. Well, Drew Hanlon, in case you don't know, is an NBA strategic skills coach and he's worked with the best of the best in the NBA. And we worked together on the 30 day get lean challenge. And when I trained him, just like everyone else, they want to work on the, the sticking points, the things that they have a challenge with. And with Drew, he really wanted to work on that belly fat that was down low that we all have trouble getting rid of. So we worked on that. We also worked on strengthening the area around his knee so he wouldn't experience knee pain going forward and then lastly we really worked on his flexibility and his posture so that he would continue to feel better as the years went on and this is all towards his goal of being an athlete for life and we're working on our next progression right now so stay tuned So Coach Matt Pugh wants to lean down and he asks what are the top three foods to avoid and what kinds of cardio are best. Well it's really simple, in terms of the foods, avoid these three, sugar, wheat and dairy. If you get rid of those three, it will make a huge difference in your body's ability to hold on to fat and if you let go of the alcohol, that will make a huge difference too. Now in regards to cardio, I'm a big believer in short interval sprints and if you go to the Gold's Gym AMP app. Go to my workouts and you'll get some amazing kick-ass workouts to take your leanness to the next level. So Harrison off of Instagram asked, how do you cure plantar fasciitis and Achilles tendonitis? Well, I gotta tell you, this is a very common issue that I see with so many athletes out there and it's a red flag telling you to take some time off. If you keep playing through it, you're gonna piss it off, it's gonna stay inflamed, and it won't get better anytime soon. So what I'm gonna recommend first is just to take it easy, do some ice baths, do things like that, that will help to at least quell the inflammation. And then from there, it's really about getting the tissues in your feet, in your lower leg, to get softer and more supple and functional. Then increase the range of motion in your ankle and your hip, and then bringing all of that together so that your body can start to work better as one unit. Now, over the course of time, because this is a very complex issue, I'm gonna shoot some videos that are gonna give you direct uh, information on how to make the most of this. So hang in there, stay tuned, and I promise you I will deliver.